Hello, Internet. It's Shelly, and it's Monday morning, and we're outside. It's cold. It's like 32 degrees, maybe. Murphy's got him a, a little stick to chew on for the moment. And today is day 47 of HRT. Yeah. Uh, two and a half weeks on estradiol, and... Um, still you know minuscule changes in our skin we're definitely going to the restroom a lot peeing and um, this morning we is our weekly medicine setup time hear that <laughs> thank you for interrupting <laughs> Um, you can see even Murphy, Murphy sees that. Anyway, um, so today we are going to lay out seven days worth of medicine, uh, morning and evening, and, uh, we do this every week, and then we get the two shots that we have to take twice a, once a, twice a month, and... <clears throat> <clears throat> so this morning we got up, uh, got out of bed, got dressed, put on this, this hair and our outfit. We're, we're not really, we're sort of dressed like a, just woke up dressed. Uh, we have a psychologist appointment today as well. And um, we were thinking about that because uh, we're doing all this so that we can live our best life and live the life that we feel like is more in line with our internal identity. And that's okay. It's valid. And... Um, We just want to encourage people that, you know, if you feel like you're not what people keep saying you are, or what your internal voice keeps saying you are, that you don't have to be that. You can um, reach out for something that is more... Um, in line you know we don't really know the word right now but this has been a journey and it's going to be a journey for the rest of our life probably we don't know because we don't know how long that's going to be right nobody does but um we wouldn't have gotten here we, we have to keep saying this we wouldn't have gotten here if it wasn't for uh people like Stacey Elder, Jeannie Ludlow, uh, Tanya and all the people at Eastern and the GSD Center and the online friends, Maria Charrington, um, Ashley Adamson, Brent Avery, Luna Jade, uh, the list goes on. Jamie Dodger was just had a really good video today breaking down some false uh, stuff about um, trans identity. <clears throat> and so... And yeah, so that's the update today. Uh, it was uh, emotional, physical, and social changes. Right now, our ch social changes have sort of settled down because we're we're finding a look that really fits for winter, <laughs> which is just like bundled up. Um, but we try to wear some softer clothes underneath and some more. Um, figure fitting clothes and uh, it's taken a lot of unpacking and we're we were so down the hole of mis misinformation about 
gender and sexuality and identity and stuff that we are um, we're really focusing on ourselves right now um, because we're leaving the other stuff aside for the moment because we just don't know how we'll feel about like dates and stuff and we're already that's a whole other big topic but um, it's good for us to focus on that right now we need to um, and we want to so yeah Um, this weekend was Dran's Day of Aware, Day of Remembrance that we um, posted about twice. And we didn't really do a video over the weekend because we wanted to sort of sit with that. There are people who've been uh, in this journey, in this battle for visibility for much longer than we have been. And they can speak and we need to listen. And we all need to listen sometimes, uh, more maybe than we speak. But we have stuff going on in our head. We have things we're working on. It's like what Tom Waits said. What's he building in there? Well, this is what are we building in here. So uh, I hope you'll join us. Hang around. Uh, let us know what you think, what's going on in your life today. How are you doing if you're in a in a questioning or you've you've come to terms with your identity how, how did you do that how, how what was helpful for you and uh, uh, leave a comment if you would we love to read your comments um, and uh, we'll talk to you soon take care oh this thing never turns off when I want it to <laughs>